design in general is like the perfect combination of like STEM and arts, you know, like the STEAM as people like to call it, but it, I think it, at Georgia Tech at least it's really STEM focused, you know, we're doing a lot of stuff with actual materials and like 3D printing stuff, like real technology, which are making things that can change lives and it's not just kind of like, oh, we make pretty things, it's like you're making things that matter. It's like the most realistic application of things that I've learned as opposed to just learning concepts and ending there, we learn concepts and then apply them to creating real life solutions. The show is a new discipline that combines your creativity with the knowledge of your sciences. The, the project that I just finished was about shopping cart design. So I used the, how do I say, the lifting equation that I learned from high school. I used it for my design. It was pretty helpful to like explain how it's how much it's gonna be lighter exactly, like showing the value of the result. Well, I took like a graphic design class in high school. I think that's one of the most relevant classes. When you're gonna start building and modeling things, you obviously need to know you know math really well in order to you know at least create things with a fine purpose and like with clearly dimensions that you. As far as like what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to design a lamp and we have to work in all these tolerances so that the drill bit can get through the wood in the right way. Um, the class from high school that helps me the most with ID is physics just because when it comes to you know, making things, like moving parts and all that stuff, physics is definitely really helpful. And then also, so just knowing the chemistry and the material science is behind. But like sculpture is so helpful. Like the idea of like creating something in 3D, it's really hard to think that way. We have to think that way all the time. So there's like a lot of classes, like the organic design, where you kind of use um, biology in design. And we definitely use math on occasion. Like you have to be really precise when you're making a model. So I think the, many of the classes I did take in high school, and like like biology, um, I would say also even math, and just things that are very uh, quantitative and seem kind of like you're just memorizing facts, they actually do play a lot into design because it allows you to take those uh, like straight relationships that you learn in math and like biological components of your body, anatomy, and just kind of apply them in a more creative sense and take what your knowledge is and expand it to how can you use this to improve a design that exists.